10. How does an atheist determine what is moral or immoral, right or wrong? Love this one. It's the whole, you can, there's no morality without God concept, which is total BS. Um, look at any other animal out there. Look at any other, any other um, animals that have roots that um, they don't kill each other. Okay, piranhas. Piranhas are one of the most deadly animals in the ex in the world. But yet they live among each other peacefully. They don't kill each other. I mean, they might fight with each other. We fight with each other. But they don't need a god to tell them, hey, don't eat your neighbor. They just do. They just live their lives. And they go about their business. They don't need somebody to tell them, that's bad to do. Eleven. Have you ever read any Christian apologetics literature? And if so, why didn't it convince you? Mountains. And it, the problem is, is that I know the history too well. I know the origins too well. And no matter how much you go and try to go, but, 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 it ain't gonna answer, the, it, ain't, you know, it ain't gonna solve the core problem of where did it all start from. Twelve. Do you believe in the existence of extraterrestrial life? Again, you're asking an atheist science questions, which have absolutely no, you know, no purpose. You're at, it's like asking a petition how to fix your car. Um, do I believe that there might be extraterrestrial life? Sure, why not? Thirteen. Since it seems that many, but not all, atheists are libertarians, what does atheism have anything to do with politics? Honestly, not much, except for the fact of we we don't use our belief to try to force other people to live our lifestyle. Um, if you look at the debate on gay marriage, there the people who are for gay marriage, they're you know they get both Christians and atheists. I have yet to hear any argument that does not have a Bible centric purpose against gay marriage. You know, gay, you know, Christian, you know, atheists really just don't care. They, but we're also like, that does not, just because we don't, you know, we're not going to be concerned about what's happening. You're going to force your beliefs on us? That's, that's wrong. Fourteen. What would cause you to convert to some form of theism? Nothing. Fifteen. What is the main reason why people become atheists? There is no main reason. Everybody becomes an atheist for their own reason and their own rationale. There is no one reason why anybody does anything. So. Sixteen. I don't deny abiogenesis or evolution, but how did the very first DNA molecules evolve? Abiogenesis. That's your answer. Is abiogenesis the a, your 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 own question? You, you answered your own question by prefacing that you don't deny abiogenesis. You know that's the answer. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, but the answer to how the first DNA came into came into existence, abiogenesis. Seventeen. Are there any atheists who were brought up without belief in God, but temporarily became a Christian or other theist, only later to deconvert back to their atheism? Yep. 18. Do you believe in the possibility there is another realm outside of nature uh, that science cannot study? Nope. 19. Do you think it's amazing that we are here at all? Yes and no. Um, 
if you want to go just purely by numbers, the chances of us being here today as we are, who we are, yeah, that's really outstanding. But you know what? At the same point, it isn't. It just happens. People have sex. People procreate. Animals procreate. Single-celled organisms split. And guess what? We're here. There's this, all these, you know, if there was one factor change, BS. Well, it didn't. We're here. And finally, 20. If we came from monkeys, just kidding. <laughs> I couldn't think of a good question for number 20, so I've decided to ask a silly one. If there is someone who thinks that everyone believes in some kind of deity, and therefore does not believe there are any atheists in existence, do you suppose they would be called a atheistists? Oh, I know you're trying to be clever here, but here's the thing. Um, if everybody believed in, in a god, then there would be no atheists. There would be no concept of atheism. Therefore, there would be no atheist or whatever the hell word you just used. But the problem is, is there will always be atheists. There will always be people who question. The only time that there will be quite people who question is machines. You program them to believe a certain way. People will always question. This is part of the human nature. So, I hope those answered your questions.